It's good for everyone to get out in the fresh air, and that's one of the many attractions of the South London suburb of Wallington. I've lived here for over 35 years, and all my family find it a great place to enjoy the outdoor life. So do our dogs. Parts of the borough still have an almost rural feel. Yet Wallington is only 10 miles from London's West End, taking less than 30 minutes by train. Balloons get there even quicker. Wallington and adjacent boroughs boast miles of public parkland, small holdings and allotments. Lavender growing, once the town's main industry, is making a comeback. Wallington is also home to one of southern England's biggest garden centres and a groundbreaking community farming project. As a place to live, Wallington has a rich heritage of Victorian, Edwardian and earlier properties, plus plenty of more modern houses and apartments at prices well below those of central London. The tranquil River Wandle, with its many ponds, lakes and waterfalls, is still a major amenity. This bridge marks the site of the original village, which dates back to the Doomsday Book. Today's town, population 20,000, is dwarfed by neighbouring Croydon and Sutton, but it still has some remarkable amenities. Wallington is the location for no less than three of the best grammar schools in the UK, plus excellent primary schools. There is an excellent library with its own alfresco cafe. Echoing this relatively relaxed vibe, there are numerous restaurants, pubs, coffee shops and takeaways. Town centre parking is cheap, plentiful and often free. For regular shopping, all the major supermarkets operate branches within a five mile radius. Oh yes, and if you need balloons, there are plenty of places you can get them and lose them.